Please subscribe to Mark's Shrimp Tanks. Hello guys, welcome to Mark's Shrimp Tanks. Today's question is, does montmorillonite clay affect TDS? I think it does because, and this is basically made up of uh, calcium, uh, calcium sulfate and calcium bicarbonate. There's lots of other minerals and stuff in here. But these are the ones that will change our uh, water parameters. They will change pH, the calcium uh, sulfate won't change pH, calcium carbonate will, okay? This will also increase your hardness. This is also, um, I want to show you guys this as well because I've seen a few videos of people making mineral balls with these and dumping them in your tank. In my opinion that is very dangerous because um, you will um, increase your pH, like you will basically get a pH spike, okay? You don't want that with this. So how we're going to test this today is we're going to use a bucket of um, aged tap water. This is a bucket that I had made up yesterday because um, I, I need this water to do uh, a water change on my snails. I use tap water and I put a little bit of prime in here. I've also added a scoop of uh, my own um, bee shrimp buffer that I'm making myself. I just want to show you what it is before we do anything. Let's see, is it better if I go around here? Yes it is. So that's 318, that's my tap water with one scoop of my own uh, buffer mix. This has been sat for 24 hours. This is what I was going to use for my snails. We're going to be putting some um, monk clay in here. I'm just going to adjust the tripod guys. One momento. Adjusting the tripod. Right, because it would be better if I could do this with one hand, I think. Stay still, you mother if. Okay, right, so we have our monk clay. Let's get this going. Showing you a neat little trick that I've learned with doing this as well, guys. For any of you people that have bought this from my store and wondered how does he get a level, how does he get a flat level scoop? Because I normally dose this like one flat level scoop per 60 litres of water. And I know I always use this in with my RO water, that's how I dose mine. So basically, this is how you do it, right? Get the inside of your bag with your little spoon and push your spoon against the plastic on your bag. See it? Now that is level enough, don't you think? So that's how you level uh, your monk clay and your little spoon in one of these ones if you buy it from me. We're going to do one scoop at a time. Just in the beginning, we're going to add one at a time. I want to see how this affects it. What was it guys? Was it 218 TDS? I mean, this was also a Facebook question from a guy called Michael. So this will be your answer. Give it a good, good stir. So there's a little trick I've learned as well, guys, from doing some uh, research about buffers, etc. Calcium sulfate raises pH, but it doesn't raise your pH, right? So that's why it's good for us to use as a B, B shrimp buffer. I've made my own. I probably will make a video on this sooner rather than then later once I've tested it fully because the last thing I'd want to do is make my own beef shrimp buffer and then sell it to you guys and then it not work properly okay so that is in development let's see well, where were we so that was one scoop okay so it's now 218 now you guys saw me put in one scoop of uh, Montmorillonite clay. This is 10 litres of water, so uh, for the amount that we use for my recommended dose of 0 0.1 grams per 60 litres of water, it does not affect your TDS. Okay? In general it will, but the doses that we use it will not affect your TDS. We're going to put a couple more in. Because I want to see I want to see where it starts to affect. Okay, so one, put quite a few in, I think. Two, three, four. I'm going to give this a stir. If you give this a stir long enough, it should clear as it 
as it dissolves into the water. A nice whirlpool. It reminds me of all those um, old movies where they'd had like the reptiles with the pieces of plastic attached to their bark. Dinosaur films and it'd be like giant whirlpools and octopuses. Ah! Yes, that's the crazy side of Mark Trump tanks coming out again. Alright, so that was four scoops, so in total we have five in here. Let's see. The same, the same. Now that is very interesting. I thought they would have went up because of the composition. Composition of what it is. Alright. Let's dump more in here, we'll put another four in. If this doesn't do anything guys, I'll dump the whole lot in. I think what this also shows as well is if you get different types of Montmorillonite clay, you will get different readings from this. I'm assuming that this is mostly a calcium sulfate. Was that another three or four? I can't remember. I think I put three in four. That's eight. It's very scientific. Mark scientific shrimp tanks. Give it a good stir. So this is way over the dose I would recommend for your shrimp tank. But this is this will probably be okay for if you have like snails etc. This is probably what I'll use this for. If the TDS stays low enough, I'll use it for my shrimp. Not my shrimp, my snails, because I need to do a water change. Let's let's show you that tank just now. I'm having to do a water change on this every couple of days because there's so many so many snails in here now. Look at them. The water is a little bit yellow, so today is their water change day. Let's see. Did it change? It went up point. Let's just give it a shape. Point two. Oh no, it's went down. What the? Okay, so it's barely going up at all. Shall we put the whole bag in? Okay, so this is 30 grams of Montmorillonite clay we're going to put in. What I do know that this will be doing is it will definitely be raising the pH, putting this amount of stuff in. Any kind of calcium that you put in like this will definitely be raising the pH. Let's give it a stir. I'll give this one a decent stir I think because there's quite a lot of it there. So this is 30 grams of Montmorillonite clay and 10 litres of tap water. You know it's taken me so long how to learn how to say this. Mont 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 Morillo Night Clay. Mont Morillo Night Clay. Any of you guys remember my earlier videos I could not say this word. Mont Morillo Night Clay. It's looking very milky. Give it a really good stir. Okay, will that do? It's more like milk than water now, I think. Let's see. That was amazing. But the amount that I've put in there is only like a tiny bit. It's not even 0.4 parts per million for the amount of Montmorillonite clay that we put in there. That's amazing. So what I'll do with this guys is I'm not going to waste this. This will be, this water will go clear by the way, it always does. I will use this for my snails. Let's just put this over here just now I think. Let's put this over here just now. And we can do that water change in a little while. 
So that was quite useful, I think. Useful little experiment to do. Does Montmorillonite clay affect TDS? It does, but it takes a lot to do it. And if you like to see this kind of content, guys, please subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy Shrimp Game, guys.